Hey guys, what's going on? Today we have a 2021 Subaru Forester in for a level three ceramic coating. Um, as you guys can see, we got all the wheels taken off this vehicle and got it put up on the lift here, got it up in the air, and got all the wheels back here getting ready to get prepped and deep clean before we go ahead and prep the vehicle itself. Um, I wanna talk to you a little bit about prepping a vehicle for a ceramic coating and why it's so important. So to get the desired outcomes that we get and the insane shine and gloss that we get on these vehicles, it all comes through the prep process of the vehicle. So the most important part is the prep of the vehicle before the coating. So each vehicle that comes in the studio for any type of polishing or correction service goes through what we call a, a smart prep. It's kind of our system that ensures that this vehicle is going to be properly decontaminated with the exact same result every time. So with this, we'll wash and detail this vehicle, detail the engine bay, and then go ahead and clay bar the vehicle to remove any contamination off the paint that doesn't come off with the wash, typically found down here in the lower sections. And then after we clay bar the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and do an iron removal on it. So with the iron removal process, those are the little orange rust specks that you'll see, usually um, very noticeable on white paints as they are lower or lighter, so it does show a lot more. So what we'll do is we'll spray that on there after we clay the vehicle, and then that'll melt chemically the iron deposits off the vehicle. Uh, they can come anywhere from, they can come from anything such as environmental fallout. So if you work at a powdered metal factory or a plant, it can land on the top of your car in the hood, or it can come actually from your brake rotors here. Whenever you hit the brakes, these things get hot and they release uh, iron filings that come up, come on the side of the vehicle and then they get stuck in, and embedded into your paint. And the most common area that you'll find these are on the back side of a truck or uh, any, any vehicle for that matter, just because of the aerodynamics and how it works. It, they go around the back of the vehicle and they stick. That's why white vehicles sometimes look a little bit uh, discolored and almost have an orange tint to them. And that orange tint is from that iron buildup. So during the prep process, we do that and make sure that all that is removed before we start polishing the vehicle. Now this vehicle is in for a level three ceramic coating. So this is getting uh, a two-step paint correction and a ceramic coating applied to every inch of it. We're doing the glass, all the side glass, the windshield, the paint, the plastic trim, and as you see, the wheels are off. So this client did opt for a wheels off ceramic coating. So we're gonna go ahead and coat the brake calipers as well as the inside barrels here. We're gonna get these cleaned up and ceramic coat these as, as well as the wheel faces, of course. So this is gonna make cleaning the brake dust off these wheels a ton easier. And with the winters around here and everything, the buildup that gets um, on the inside of your wheels is really not good for it. So if we put a barrier there, which is the coating between the metal wheel and the surface, it's going to help make it a lot easier to clean and prevent the salt from embedding itself into the inside of that wheel. So we have a lot of prep work on our hands. We got to go ahead and get these wheels or the wheel walls cleaned up, detail the engine bay and get this paint decontaminated. So me and Cole are going to get right, on, right in on that. And you guys will see a little time lapse of that. As you guys can see here when, when we're working on these wheel wells we're using a couple different chemicals for different surfaces underneath the uh, wheel well there and we're also using a few different brushes as well to make sure that we can get access to each area and thoroughly clean it.
After we get done cleaning the wheels and the wheel wells, as well as the engine bay, we're ready to move on to the front end of the vehicle. So as you guys can see here, I'm spraying on some bug remover and then foaming over it, making sure that our, that our cleaner doesn't dry and has enough time to dwell on there and really get all those bugs off. Um, you can see Cole using a washman on here just to safely remove all those bugs on the front, the windshield, the headlights, grill, all those areas. And then we also hit all these tight little areas here with a detail brush just to make sure that we get out any dirt or any bug guts that might be stuck in any of the tight cracks and crevices that we can't get with a wash mat. first step in decontaminating the vehicle is going to be to go ahead and foam it down and give it a hand wash, which is what we're doing right here. This is just going to knock off any loose debris on there, and then we'll go in with the iron remover and the clay later on to further decontaminate and clean the paint. Um, we already did spray it with iron remover, and as you guys can see here, while that's dwelling, we're just cleaning up the wheels and tires to get them prepped. process on it before we clay it and as you guys can see we have our iron remover on here right now dwelling on this paint and you guys can see all this purple stuff here that's running down this paint that's all iron that didn't come off during the wash so all these little contaminants would otherwise be getting caught in our polishing pads clogging up our pads while we're doing the prep work on this vehicle so that's why we're removing them right now and as you guys can see well maybe not but this is uh, exactly what I'm talking about when I say the iron on your vehicle. So this, this is all from these brake rotors right here. So if you have a high performance vehicle, usually your vehicle has a little more brake dust on it than an average one, just because they're bigger brakes and they're gonna be putting out a lot more brake dust in order to stop that vehicle. And then the back, like I said before, all this is all brake dust that, that comes around the vehicle and lands on the back of the tailgate area. So all that's melting. We'll let this sit on there for about five, 10 minutes, and then go ahead and wash the vehicle one more time, and then we'll clay it. All right, so we're on the final stages of prepping this vehicle before we go ahead and dry it and tape it up for polishing. As you guys can see, Cole's got a little pad that he's working with on the vehicle, which is this right here. It's a little clay pad. So he's removing any contamination that might be stuck in the clear coat that did not come off with the wash and did not come off during the iron removal process. So what this is gonna do is just ensure that the paint is as clean as possible and it's smooth to the touch before we polish it. After we're done with the clay removal process, we'll go ahead, dry the vehicle, and then look for areas like this right here, little tar deposits, and we'll go around, remove those, and then we will be ready to uh, get this vehicle masked off and Paula. We got everything masked off. We're getting ready to do our polishing on this vehicle, but before we start, Cole's doing a inspection on the paint just to check the level and severity of the defects in the paint. That's why he's got a light here. You guys can see he's looking for defects and scratches to kind of monitor how bad they are, just so that way we can get a good, a good idea of what approach we need to take on this vehicle. Every vehicle is different, so it's not a one size fits all. Whenever we go to correct these things and take the scratches out, it all depends on how bad the scratches are, what type of paint it is, what year the car is, all those things come into play. So. With each vehicle, we do a pre-detail inspection, or I guess I should say a pre-correction inspection on the vehicle, just to determine what our approach is gonna look like. And then after we have a pretty good idea of what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and do a test spot, just to make sure that we are using the right pad as well as polish to get the right results for these vehicles. So this is a perfect example of why we do our pre-detail inspections. If you guys look back here, 
you guys can see all these scratches behind these door handles. So typically that's something that could be easily missed if we were just quickly going through this and jump straight into polishing. So with that pre-detail inspection, we can see all these little areas and go over a checklist to make sure that we do visually inspect all these areas to make sure that they get hit. So these are one uh, area that can be easily missed and looked over. Here is the after on that door handle you guys just saw. There's no more scratches in there at all. We're gonna go ahead and hit the rest of the door handles the same way. But when we say we hit every square inch of the vehicle, we really mean every square inch gets polished and coated. Now comes the most rewarding part of the job, which is actually applying the ceramic coating. So that's what you see us doing right here. We're applying the ceramic coating to about half a panel at a time. And you can see Cole there with a the red towel. He is removing the ceramic coating and we'll do this with three separate towels just to ensure that we do remove the entire coating and we don't leave any excess on the surface. You'll also see that we're moving the lift up and down as we're ceramic coating it. Um, this just allows us to get more eye level with the vehicle just to make sure that we're not missing anything or overlooking anything that could be easily missed if we had to bend down. So by putting it up chest height, eye level, just makes it make sure that we're uh, gonna get a better end result after we're done with the job. So here's the big benefit of doing the wheels off service for the ceramic coating as well. You guys can see we're able to get behind the back of the spokes and inside the barrel to protect that with the coating. Whereas if we did it um, on the vehicle, we would not be able to get access to those. So pulling them wheels off allows us access to the entire wheel. For the icing on the cake, check out these lug nuts. These things were pretty dingy and uh, did not look the best, but after a good polish before we reinstalled them, they came out looking perfect. Check these things out. So that is a wrap on the exterior of this car. We just finished up coating it and everything, finished the final inspection, got the wheels put back on, got those torqued down. And now the only thing left we have to do on the uh, car is to go ahead and get the interior dialed in and then uh, do a final inspection on the interior and get it ready to get shipped back to the client. So that concludes the level three ceramic coating in detail on this Subaru Forester. Um, now I'm going to be showing you guys some after shots of it, some B-roll. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.